So how can you reduce your chances of getting COVID-19 and being so sick you need to be in the hospital or the ICU? ABC 7's Kay Beery reports on the vitamin that could make a difference. She joins us from Las Cruces with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. In addition to wearing your mask, washing your hands and social distancing, a doctor at Three Crosses Regional Hospital joins the federal government in recommending that you increase your intake of vitamin D. Oh, this virus has been really scary, right? Because it's so contagious. Really the most important thing it can do is to increase your vitamin D levels. According to an October study published in the Journal of Steroid Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, Vitamin D reduced the risk of ICU admission by 97%. Dr. Marchetto recommends adults take seven to 8,000 units a day. I just think everyone really needs to research vitamin D and also take uh, zinc and vitamin C and probably a good multivitamin and exercise. Even Dr. Anthony Fauci recommends it. If you are deficient in vitamin D, mm -hmm. that does have an impact on your susceptibility to infection. So I would not mind recommending, and I do it myself, taking vitamin D supplements. For more information on how these vitamin D capsules help your immune system, visit our website, kvi.com. Click on New Mexico, but remember, does not replace wearing a mask, washing your hands, or social distancing. Reporting from Las Cruces with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Kate Beery, ABC7. Elective surgeries can resume on January 4th, according to the public health order that could change if the governor extends the